Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3D Now. My name is Jack and in this video, I'm going to show you how to find 3D models online. So, hi, right into the video. I get asked a lot where to find 3D models to print with my 3D printer. So there are a ton of websites that have 3D models that you can download, but I compiled my top five that I use to download models to print on my 3D printer. So all of these have free models to print, but some of them are paid as well. So the first one on my list is the most popular for 3D printing, is called Thingiverse, thingiverse.com. And of course, all the links for all these sites are gonna be down in the description below. So Thingiverse is by far the most popular for getting models to 3D print. It's been around for really, really long, and all these models are free. On Thingiverse, they're all free. So what I like to do is if I just want to find a fun model to print, I go to explore, I go to things, and then I'm gonna sort it by popular. So this shows a list of the most popular prints that people download from the site. So up here, you, you can see this, this is the most popular item. Right now, it looks like it's a, a, phone, a phone case or phone holder, and then it goes down by a bunch of popular prints. So if a bunch of people download these, then I'm probably gonna like them as well. Chances are I'm gonna want to download these and print these as well. And most of these are really, really cool, fun objects to print. Also, we can go up to the top, we can go to explore just things, and then just list the latest objects that are uploaded. So you can see that. And Thingiverse has a ton, a ton of objects to print from. But the one thing that I do not like about Thingiverse is that their search is not the best. So if I just search 3D now, if I search 3D now, nothing comes up. But if I search 3D now maker coin and search that, my maker coin comes up. But it's made by me, my name is 3D now, and in, and in the title is 3D now as well. So I don't know why it didn't pick this up but but again if I'm gonna search for an object I pretty much know what the name or the title is in addition it's a little weird on mobile too thingiverse it condenses all this it squishes it all together and the search bar is a little, a little bit weird on mobile but if you're using it on your computer on desktop it works pretty well and the models are really easy to download again they're all free so you can just see the pictures here go to the thing files and just download the, the STLs right here. Also, you can see um, down here, it shows the print settings that the user selected for this object. So we know how to print this object correctly. Also, if you printed this object, you can also upload a picture of your print and it'll show up down here. So if we go to one of the most popular 3D printing objects, the, the, the most popular bench test, the Benchy. You can click on that, and we can see here 32,000 likes. It's a lot here. And if you scroll down, we can see we can see right here makes. We can see all the makes that people did for the 3D Benchy, and they post it here. So we can see if other people had success printing this model. It's pretty cool. So definitely check out Thingiverse. It's probably the biggest repository of models to 3D print. Next is my mini factory. This is probably the second place I go to to find 3D models. It's really awesome. The website's built really well. And a bunch of these models are free, but some of them you do have to pay for. And this website just looks so good. All the models are here in the front page. You can search as well, or you can search by category. It's really simple to find a part. So let's say I want to just look for some jewelry. You can see here, all the jewelry parts are listed right here. Or if I wanted to look for, I don't know, mini worlds, you can see these little, these, these little objects like the Statue of Liberty here in the Eiffel Tower. You can click on that and it shows, there we go. A picture here, you can download it, a description, printing details, things like that. And again, you can, you can also upload pictures, just like Thingiverse. You can comment on it, like it, add to collections, many things that, that you can do on this website. 
but some of them are going to be paid. So you have to watch out for that as well. It's also cool that you can, you can just search for people like make, like make anything, Devin Montez. He, he's a, he's a big 3d printing YouTuber and, he, and, and you can just search by his name and he, and he posts all of his objects on my mini factory. You can, you can see here, Devin Montez, make anything. You can see here, all of his objects, 350 listed on his page here. So it just looks so good. You can pick from any of his objects, like here are his poly panels. You can click on that, download them as well. It's pretty, it's pretty simple and easy to use on my mini factory. I really, really like it. So the next thing is Colts 3D. So this is another website that the models are free and paid for. So you do have to watch out for that as well. And you can see here, it's pretty simple layout as well. We can go over to the top here. We see all the sections. We can just, let's uh, do art for now. We click on art and it shows all of the models for art here. We have some cool stuff here. We can scroll through it. We, we, we can click on one just to see it. Here's a camera. We can click on that and there's a cool view here. You can see all the different pictures, the tags stuff like that. So you see that this one is actually not free. You see that it's 79 cents. So you do have to pay for this. Again, you have to watch out for that. But also say we wanna just search for, let's search for boat. There we go. So we have some boats here and we can search at the top. We can search by price. <laughs> and and it's actually searching um, with the, with the highest price on top. So you can see here it's $283 down to lowest price, which is free at the bottom. But you can click price again and it'll sort from free. So there we go. You can see all the free ones. Click on that. And there we go. See, it's just free there. So we can download this object for free. Pretty cool. We got a description again. And at the bottom, we have print settings right here and tags again. A pretty cool website, works really well, a lot of good models, and you can definitely find some cool things to print on Colts 3D. So the next one is a little bit different. It's called CG Trader, and this is not a website directly made for 3D printing objects. It made, you can see here, for VR, gaming, advertising, entertainment, and 3D printing. So a lot of these objects are CAD models that you would use in say a video game or things like that. But you can also 3D print these objects as well. And some of these are free, some of them are paid again. So you can search here or you can just go to 3D models. And, there's a, and there's, there is a tab up here for 3D printing, which is cool. And there's some sections or categories as well. We click on games and toys just, just to see. And we have a bunch of objects here to choose from. I'll click on the Falcon Heavy. And you can see here that it is paid $35. Whoops, there we go. It shows all the pictures. This is, a, this is a really cool model actually. There we go, so, so you can add to cart, purchase it. And you can see all of the models, the description again, item supplied, some tags again, and then some similar models as well. Pretty cool. So we can actually see here if we just go to say aircraft that here we go $20, $240, $50. A lot of these models are paid because they are so detailed, so complex. They have multiple parts and they're colored. So most of these are used for say video effects or games because they have the textures on them as well. So you can just put this in your VR game or any 3D game. It's pretty easy. So they are pretty expensive but again you can go to the top sort by free and there we go we can see some free objects we can download click on this plane here and we can download the obj you can see right here obj for 3d printing pretty cool so next one is also different this is not really meant for 3d printing but you can see here it's meant for professional designers engineers 
manufacturers and students. So you can see here by the scrolling background that this is not sort of a 3D printing website where most of the parts are, are little toys or trinkets or little upgrades or single models. But these are mostly big manufactured, engineered assemblies, cars, moving parts, engines. These are real products that people have posted the cow models online so other, other people can see them. And you can 3D print some of them. Again, GrabCAD is free or paid, but there are a lot of good free objects as well. So we can see here, we can go to the top. We can go up here and search. So I can search, let's say, Raspberry Pi. And we can see here people post Raspberry Pi, as you can see here. So it's not just like a single model, but multiple, multiple models that makes up a Raspberry Pi. It's pretty cool. So you can click on this one, Raspberry Pi 4. It's actually a brand new one. And we can see here that it's a CAD model. So some of these you cannot 3D print unless you have the CAD software and then export it from, from that CAD software. But you can see here that this is a SOLIDWORKS part here. But some of the people post STLs or OBJs so you can download that and print it on your 3D printer. We hear, so here, Raspberry Pi Zero. This is, this is a step model, so we can't print that unless we uh, export it as an STL or OBJ. But we can also go to the top. Or we can click on OBJ or STL, so we only have the model so we can print with, with our 3D printer. So you can see here, Raspberry Pi with a little case here. And you can see if we go into here, there we go, there's our STL. So we can download this and print this right away. Again, these are mostly full assemblies or big manufactured products. So those are my five websites that I use to download models to 3D print. Some of them are free, some of them are paid for, but all of them have free downloads that you can do to get models to 3D print on your 3D printer. So I hope this helped. Again, all these links are gonna be down in the video description below. So thanks again for watching everybody. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more 3D printing videos like this. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And I will see you all in the next video.